Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin', man? It's your boy, C. I'm back again with another video. You feel me? I'm gonna put it to you like this. To understand your purpose in life is not that difficult. Your purpose in life is something that you are connected to spiritually. And it's not something that's revealed to you instantly when you enter the world. It's something that takes time. That's a journey in itself to do, to discover your purpose. You feel me? The most interesting thing about it all, and this is what makes this shit spiritual, because the way that you'll get connected and aligned with your purpose is through energy, bro. It'll be signs that'll be right in front of you, bro. But what may hold something back is not having the mental capacity to recognize these signs. You feel me? I was chopping it up with somebody the other day. And for those who don't know, you feel me? Your boy see him be cutting up. You feel me? That's something that I do. I enjoy and I'm able to make a living off of it. You feel me? So the dude brought to my attention that life pretty much been hitting him a little a little different lately. You feel me? And that instantly sparked my attention because life been hit me a little different lately too. I told him, I said, look, a lot of times, man, like when you searching for that, that, that thing or things, you feel me, that you want to do, you got to pay attention to the signs, bro. You feel me? It's not that you don't know. You don't know the blueprint to get to those things. You feel me? And it start with your mind and how you're able to be aware of the signs, bro. And the energy that presents itself, you feel me? Which is a piece of the puzzle into you discovering your gifts or your talents. You see what I'm saying? Or shit that you're supposed to be doing. You feel me? A good way to succeed in life is to do things that you like to do. You feel me? You're able to give more than enough energy to these things, you feel me? So that way they can produce value in your life. You can thrive off of these things, you feel me? These things pay your bills. These are building blocks to get you to where you, you're trying to get to in life, you feel me? And sometimes it may be just one thing, it may be a bunch of things. Everybody, every human got a different like setup, you feel me? But that's what make this shit so unique. Because when you discover it, you get to find out like, that should be coming more too much yourself. You learning yourself. Be like, oh shit, like this is me. You feel me? And then at that point, you begin to be more proud of yourself. You feel me? It's more self love. It's more self acceptance. You see what I'm saying? Because you discover a divine part of yourself. You feel me? You discover it's like you unlock or you open a spiritual part of yourself when you discover things that are in alignment with you and the shit that you're supposed to be doing while you're here on earth. Because he asked me, he was like, man, like. With, with this, like, would you say this is something that you're supposed to do? I'm like, yeah, this is one of the things for sure. You feel me? Taking y'all back to 2017, right? So, for anybody who didn't know, I did some time in the military. You feel me? The military, right? You always need haircuts. That shit is like a rule. Then I like when you got hearing head. We used to always have to get our haircuts and shit. You feel me? But it was this one dude going around rooms and shit. And it's buzzing people. Just fucking these shits up. Because we could buy shit. They do our own shit. Because some people didn't like waiting. Like, we had scheduled days where we had to go get our haircuts. You know what I'm saying? But some people didn't like to wait in between the, the scheduled days. You feel me? So some people would have, like, clippers in their rooms and shit. There's this one dude that I noticed. He They got his ass. And they got his ass bad. But that shit was fucked up, man. That shit just... That was the moment right there. I killed... I didn't know... I don't even know who the fuck this dude was. I didn't know who he was. I just knew that this another nigga who... Who joined the army like a dumbass like I did. You feel me? And we did we both up in it a bit. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know the dude. But that moment right there was when it all started. You feel me? It's because that energy. And I had I didn't even realize this until I had to look back on this situation because it's like, yo, like, that's when that shit started. That's something that I know I'm supposed to be doing. You feel me? In order to get value in my life. You feel me? So yeah, when I seen this dude's haircut. I remember the thoughts that was going on in my head at the time. I was like, damn, like, that's fucked up how they did, bro. And, like, that shit just hit me. Like, bro, like, I know I can fix this haircut, bro. I know I can fix that motherfucker. Now, mind you, I don't have any experience cutting the hair before this. Like, none. I never watched no goddamn videos or nothing. Never even, like, thought about it. You feel me? Now, mind you, when it come to hair and shit, like, before I joined the military, because I joined right out of high school, only thing I could have thought of, because I tried to dive real deep and figure this shit out. I was like, damn, I remember I used to always have my hair cut. You see what I'm saying? And I hate it, but I fucking hate it when I got a bad haircut, bro. If a nigga push my shit back, I would be mad as fuck. So fucking mad. 
You feel me? And like, I remember how I always felt and I always enjoyed going to the barbershop because I'm like, bro, I'm about to get a clean cut. You feel me? I just like that. I always loved that. But I never like cut hair. You feel me? When I saw a dude haircut and that shit hit me like that, that was like the defining moment right there. And then from there, like I went and that shit made me go talk to this nigga. I don't know. I didn't know who the fuck he was, bro. I just went to go talk to this fool. And I told him, I was like, bruh, look, I ain't trying to, <laughs> I ain't trying to be funny or nothing. You feel me? But bro, like your haircut, man, I know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I know, you know, you feel me. So it's like, bro, like I can fix you, bro. Like, trust me. So I had to convince this motherfucker to let me cut his hair. And I was able to convince this would let me cut his hair. I didn't have no clippers though, but I knew another nigga down the hall who did. And I was so dedicated to that. I would, I thought about that shit because I can't remember. When I went to go talk to him, we was in the, uh, the cafeteria. We was eating and shit. So I can't remember how much time had passed by from when we was in the, uh, like the cafeteria to when we like got back into our rooms and shit. I can't, I don't know. But from that time, I just was thinking about that shit the whole time. Like, bro, like, I got to fix this nigga haircut. That was the only thing that was on my mind. I wasn't thinking about nothing. I wasn't thinking about the fact that, that nigga, I'm not even in my home state right now. You, I'm ready to get out of this bitch. I wasn't thinking about none of that shit. The only thing I was thinking about at that time was like, bro, I got to fix this nigga haircut. And I, I'm going to fix that shit. So anyway, by the time we got back to the rooms and shit, I knew I knew a nigga who had some clippers, bro. So I went to um I went to the dude, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, let me let me buy your clippers and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you need to I can slide you a little something, something. You feel me? Whatever. And he was cool with it. He let me get the clippers and shit. And then I told brother to meet me in my room. The dude who haircut, I was about to fit, you feel me? So we set up and everything. And like I did it, you know what I'm saying? I'm up there being chopping that man up, you feel me? And like that shit came out, it came out okay. It just like that shit for something, bro. Mind you, like I don't got no type of fucking no knowledge on how to cut hair. None of that shit. I ain't never did that shit, bro. I just started when I was cutting this hair, and that shit took me a long time. About to lie, that shit took me goddamn at least about an hour and a half on that mug. But the whole time I was doing it, like I was just doing what I thought made sense in my head. It made sense as why it took that damn long, cause that was like my first time cutting somebody's shit, and I was like, damn, like. That's the first time I ever did that shit, bro. It was just, cause it, it was something new. I never done no shit like that. So I'm like, damn, that shit came out like that. You feel me? I was like, let me let bro look at it. And bro was fucking with that shit. So that was a new experience for me. I was like, damn, like, like I had thought about it too. While he was it's like, bro, I fuck with this shit. It's like, damn, I, I think I'm on to something, bro. You feel me? And mind you, next day pass. We're going about our day. I got folks coming to me and be like, bro, like, I see old boy cut, uh, old boy cut. You feel me? It's like, bro, that shit clean, bro. Can you get me next, bro? And I'm like, damn. And bro came back to tell me the other people was coming in his cut. Like, damn, who cut you? And I was like, bro, then that shit crazy. I think I'm on to something. I was like, damn, that shit crazy, bro. I was like, damn. But the whole point of that, and by the way, like, after that, here I am six years later. Busting out these cuts, going crazy with these cuts. That's part of the reason I'm able to take care of myself. You feel me? Him and like how that happened, that's what laid the foundation, bro. That was the energy. That's what laid the foundation into me. Like um turning like cutting hair into what I, I turned it into now. You feel me? I told dude that story and I was like, I know that's a lot, but the whole point of that is like you gotta recognize the signs. And I broke it down to him. I'm, I was like this. I recognized the sign when I developed like uh thoughts. Everybody, when they're discovering themselves, is going to look different. You see what I'm saying? But my point is, like, you need to be aware of these signs. And when things pop up like that, that's energy right there. You feel me? Pay attention to that energy. And then you need to be curious. What allowed me to continue to dive deeper into that after the first sign and figure that out is because I was curious. You feel me? When you recognize energy, when you recognize signs, you need to let your curiosity take over. Because when you are curious about some shit, you feel me? At that point, you're going to start stepping, bro. You're going to see what's good. That energy going to speak to you. And it's, you got to allow yourself to step into that. To see what's good with that. Because that is a sign right there. That is something in alignment with what you what the fuck you're supposed to be doing. That is something that's in alignment with you discovering yourself. The most high not going to tell you. You're not gonna give you. You're not gonna give you the finish line right away. Gonna give you blueprints. 
It's up to you to be aware and recognize these blueprints. You know what I'm saying? You have to put your own puzzle together. When you discover yourself, the puzzle not just complete day one. You feel me? That's going to be signs. It's going to take time. You got to recognize the signs. This is how you discover what you want to do, what you know you should be doing, what you like to do. It starts with that energy, bro. And when you take a deeper dive into life, you begin to realize it's like, damn, when it comes to understanding your purpose in life, everybody has a different purpose. Some people was put on this earth to speak. You feel me? Some people was put on this earth to be a go athlete in whatever sport. Some people discover it young. Some people discover it a little bit later in life. Some people don't discover it at all. Don't allow yourself to, to not discover self. It's ultimately so you can use these things in exchange for a better life. Every human that's very in tune with their purpose, they are flourishing. That's like a universal law, bro. Life itself has a purpose, so everything connected to life has a goddamn purpose. You feel me? You got to discover that motherfucker, though. I've discovered a lot of things about myself. A lot. And I'm very thankful for that. Sometimes we have random thoughts. Like, there's thoughts that we can control and there's thoughts that we cannot control. You feel me? There's thoughts that just pop up into our heads type shit. Those are the thoughts you need to start paying more attention to. And I'm not talking about bad thoughts. Obviously, I'm talking about thoughts that might have something to do with you experiencing some sort of change in your life. And those be the most unusual thoughts because how was I thinking about that shit? <laughs> you feel me? It's like sometimes like when you, when you do learn shit about yourself... You, you may be shocked. At, like, damn, like, that shit's crazy. But that's the thing, though. That's you. It's not crazy. That's you learning yourself. That's just you. You feel me? Be proud of that shit. Accept that shit. And use that shit to your fucking advantage. You feel me? I want a good life. I don't want no bad life. I, no, nah, I can't do that. You feel me? At that point, there was no making any more excuses. There was no more complaining and shit, bro. I'm equipped with awareness, bro. And that shit is powerful. Me having that awareness allows me to be more in tune with myself. Me, myself, experience a better life. And I want that because I know for a goddamn fact that I'm going to pass away one day. It's going to happen for the time that my ass is here. I'm trying to live a good life, bro. Can a nigga feel good? A nigga trying to feel good and shit, you feel me? But in order to get to the feel good and the comfortable shit, yo, I got to go through hell, bro. You got to go through the storms, the tornadoes, bro. You got to. That's the only fucking way. And that shit suck, but that shit ain't no joke. But one thing's for sure, though, all hurricanes don't last forever. In this, in this journey of life, bro, like, yo, yo ass will be going through shit. And it feel like, goddamn, boy... If this would hell feel like, Lord have mercy, I don't want to go there after I die. Like, life will really put your ass through the test. But it's supposed to happen like that. That's the shit that builds your ass the fuck up. That's the shit that will make something out your ass, bro. They give you substance inside you and your spirit, your soul. You a different type of human at that point. Because you know what pain feel like. You done went through the rough of the rough. And you overcame that shit. And each time you go through the rough of the rough, you become more equipped. It's kind of like going to the gym and you lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? That pain, boy. You doing it the right fucking way. Strip for him. You lift it heavy. That bitch gonna hurt. Especially you lifting heavy for a lot of reps. That bitch gonna hurt. Like, God damn it, it's so fuck my ear the so man. God damn, boy. Gotta start with that goddamn incline press. Life's like the same way when you going through them storms, bro. Shit seem like life beating the fuck out your ass. But notice how you slinging weight and shit. Yo, chest get bigger and stronger. So you're able to push more weight. So you're more equipped now for a bigger challenge. You feel me? The bigger challenges. Because life, this shit never ran in, boy. And you go through one star, you can go through some more shit. Life gonna always test you 
with you being in tune with yourself, you're going to be able to face all of life's battles, bro. And anything that I throw at you. You're going to be able to think about that shit, create a plan, and execute, you feel me? And overcome. Your mind just operates a little bit different. You don't just sit in defeat. <laughs> and to learn yourself, to discover yourself, that shit is fun. Because it's you, my nigga. You're able to repel a lot of negative energy that, that, that try to come into your life. You're able to attract good energy come into your life you're able to attract good people into your life and you'll repel a lot of negative people in a sense you'll still attract negative people because them motherfuckers try to bring your ass the foot down because they don't like the fact that you elevate you feel me? but you still repel them because your energy is so goddamn strong and so elevated they can't keep up they can't hang so it's just so powerful bro when you in tune with yourself so you start taking care of yourself you 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 got a certain type of love for yourself to only want the best for yourself when you wake up in the morning because you love yourself so goddamn much you love yourself enough to not be lazy, bruh. You love yourself enough to make sure you have a productive day because you understand you got the awareness. You equipped with the knowledge that each and every day, I'm giving it my all. I'm pitching in a little, little progress. And over time, I see results. Over time, I'm experiencing this better life. You start reaching ultimate peaks when you understand your purpose, bro. I encourage y'all to read more books, man. Read more books. This is something that will also help you self-identify. Start reading more books. Listen to more podcasts, man. You are what you consume. Pay attention to the shit that you listen to, to the shit that you're reading. Reading shit that's actually going to help elevate you. Obviously, don't and just no bullshit. Don't consume no bullshit. And most above all, pay attention to the signs. Don't be blinded no more. The minute that shit hits your ass, that's a clue. Get curious. Of course you don't know what to expect. You're not supposed to know what to expect. You're supposed to just do. <laughs> if you knew what to expect at that point, your purpose has no value, bruh. Get curious. Stay curious. Stay driven, bruh. You gain a certain level of awareness, bruh. Keep building on that. Because the battery that runs us out is the mind, bruh. You were put here for a reason, bruh. You are divine. Treat yourself as such. That's all I got for today, y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You feel me? It's your boy, Sion. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? We out.